This is Twit. The lovely Colleen Goldstein said, Oh, have you seen Chef's Feed? Whatever is Chef's Feed, I asked her, I asked her. She said, imagine, kind of like Zagat or Yelp, but instead of being done by the unwashed masses, mm -hmm. it's done by unwashed chefs. Oh. So they have experts... Uh, oh, see, like the chef, the girl in the fig, one of my favorite restaurants, mm -hmm. John Tools, Lauren Feldman from Anhalt Farms Winery. So these are all uh, local oh. places, but they have experts because you tell it where you are. They have experts and then they give you recommendations. People, not just from normal people. Um, actually, this doesn't have a lot of information, though, just... Maybe a recommendation you go there, which I highly recommend, by the way. This is one of our favorite. But you could also suggest an edit for that, it said. Yeah. To say how much you love it. It has features. Canada's culinary paradise. Mm. That's almost an oxymoron. <laughs> Spend a few days in Kelowna. We love you, Canadians. The impossibly lush Okanagan Valley. Oh, egg and toast. Egg and toast is good. What do you call that? Do you uh, have a name? I think the egg in the hole. Egg in a hole, yeah. Egg in the hole. What do you call it? When my when I was growing up, my mom called it a bird's nest. Oh. Yeah. Uh, chill as hard as possible off the clock. Jeff, join Chef Yoni Levy for an off the clock stop at a famous local deli. This looks like a food lover's paradise. It's free. You can sign in. You don't have to. If you create an account, though, you can save, you know, oh, got to go there, stuff like that. So you've got experts. You've got guides. Behold the banana. Ooh. Hats off to the underdog of fruit. Banana pudding. Banana conda cocktail from the Snack Boys of Milwaukee. Uh, the lovely bunch cocktail from the aviary in Chicago. This is so awesome. I just... No, oh, I don't want to rate it right now. By <laughs> you the way... You just rated it in, in the podcast. You just said... I'm awesome. rating it. By the way, if here's a little trick. If you get that and you keep getting it, press yes... Go to the iTunes store and then exit. And it it'll th it doesn't know you didn't rate uh, it. It'll just think uh, you did and then it'll never bother you again. If I think you could turn that off too. I wish you could. Burger Inspirations drives me nuts. I think Apple's changed things. Put see if I had a if I had an account I could save this. Um, Burger Inspiration, where to grab oysters right now, venture into vegan. So this is really great. And then it has a map of our area. And places it recommends. By the way, yeah, I'm really impressed because of all the places in our neighborhood it could recommend, from the Lagunitas Brewing Company to the International House of Pancakes, mm -hmm. it recommends actually the exact thing I would recommend if I were a local. Do they have vegetarian dogs? No, there? Roy's yeah. Chicago Dogs <laughs> at the Yard. This is at the stockyard. This is where they auction off animals, which is why I've never eaten there. Because... <laughs> Let's face it, what the hell's that dog made out of? But no, they're real Chicago dogs, Vienna sausages. Alex Gumpel eats there on a regular basis. Oh, Alex, would you please bring me one back? Oh, see, there are recommendations. So I guess, okay, Yoni Levy. Okay, we were just talking about Yoni. Oh, yeah. I lived in Chicago for seven years. I ate Chicago dogs every week. This is the real deal. These dudes killed it. That is what you're looking for. That is real inside information. And not just from some man on the street or woman on the street or small child on the street, but from a real <laughs> actual chef who lived and worked in Chicago for years. To me. Yeah. Better this than is, Yelp, like some disgruntled person. And I something. would still use Yelp. I mean, I wouldn't give up on everything else, but I just think this is a really great adjunct and it's free. And I thank you, Colleen, for recommending this. I am thrilled about it. It's called Chef's Feed. And don't, I was a little put off by the skull and bones icon. Mm. But you know, that's how chefs are. Mm -hmm. They're kind of uh, edgy. So it's a little edgy, but not badly so. It's good. Chef's Feed. And there's a website that goes along with it, too. You can go to the website, chefsfeed.com. And that's our apps yeah. caps. Oh, yeah. It is the skull and bones is weird. Well, it's a fork and knife instead of bones. But it's very Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. Yeah. It's that style. I don't mind that. That's fine. If you ever worked in a restaurant, you know that's kind of the spirit.